And that shooting that began at a bar spilled out into the plaza and into a nearby residence. Police say more than 30 shots were fired and one of those bullets made its way into a family home. We spoke with the father who says he narrowly avoided becoming a victim. My son and my wife. Wow. They're scared very bad. This was the damage left behind to Wally Muhammad's TV. We just uh, lined down, we were watching movies on, uh, uh, with my kids. Uh, so boom, 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 like that. And uh, after that, I see the uh, cross from my window and uh, my TV. Mohammed and his family left shaken after a bullet burst through their second floor window. Their apartment just steps away from where the shootout began after 1 a.m. When this when the bar is open, this area is uh, not safe. Really? It's not first time. And this time is very bad. The area resident puts the blame squarely on the bar where the violence erupted. Police confirming gunfire was exchanged between two parties. The scene spanning this plaza now riddled with bullet holes. We've had extra police at Glen Karen and Marley since March because there was reported gang violence shooting around the three or four bars there. So the police, extra police, have been in there since March. The area councillor expressing his frustration today at violence continuing to plague the neighbourhood. The police can't close the bar down because they don't have the authority. It's got to be the Alcohol and Gaming Commission. The Alcohol and Gaming Commission will never suspend the license of one of these bars where they hang out. Meanwhile, Toronto police say they're doing their part, recently launching an 11-week project to combat gun and gang violence. $4.5 million funded by the federal, provincial and municipal governments. The initiative will heavily focus on street gangs, which police say were at the centre of this morning's shooting. We have over 100 street gangs that we can identify. I guarantee you there are more than 100 street gangs. And, and so we are actively doing our investigations. Uh, all three levels of government have been of great assistance. Yesterday was a good example. Yesterday, the province announcing $3 million in funding for 40 additional CCTV cameras in neighbourhoods with rising gang activity. Toronto Mayor John Tory today weighing in, saying there is still more to be done pointing to the fact that one of the victims has a history of gun-related offences. We've got to take a look not only at support for the police, not only at investing in the communities and keeping kids away from gangs, but also at some of the bail and sentencing laws that are allowing these people to get convicted and arrested over and over again.